how to use YouTube's thumbnail test and compare feature, otherwise known as AB thumbnail testing, woo woo, step by step in this video. I'm Lori Petrucci with Live Streaming Pros. Let's get right into it. To start a thumbnail test, you're gonna upload a video just like you normally do. Of course, fill out your title and description just like you always do. But when you get down to the thumbnail section, instead of a single box of upload your file like it used to have, now you have three options. You have upload file, auto-generated, and test and compare. We're gonna click on test and compare. Go ahead and click on the plus sign, add your first file. Now, a quick note, if you get an inconclusive result with this thumbnail test, it will default to showing everybody the first thumbnail that you uploaded. So make sure you put your favorite right there. Add the second one, and then add the third. Once they're done uploading, just click done. Go ahead and complete the process of uploading your video. And when you're ready to publish, publish it and the thumbnail test will be public. And what's gonna happen is it's going to run a random test. It's gonna show each of these three different thumbnails to multiple people, each person getting a different thumbnail choice. And just so you know, once the system has chosen a thumbnail for a particular person, for example, person A gets shown a thumbnail two, then person A will always see thumbnail two. They will never see the other options to ensure that they don't think it's a different video and click on it, which would skew the results. If you wanna manage your thumbnail test or see the results, all you need to do is click on the details of your video, scroll down past the description, get to the thumbnail section, click the three dots and view test. You're gonna see the current test results and you can choose to either end the test and choose a winner or start a new test. Once a thumbnail test has completed, either after the two week period or if there was a clear winner beforehand, then you can go into the three dots again, view test results. And if you want to change the thumbnail, then you can click the set button to the thumbnail that you want to manually show to the world. And you can always start a new test at any time time, which is actually a pretty good idea. And I walk you through when to do that um, on my best practices video. So go ahead and click that right here and dive deeper into this subject to use the thumbnail test and compare feature effectively to grow your channel.